to this section. Let's give them lots of love. Let's start a round of applause. Spread that around the room. The whoop here for James McConnell. No, I'm sure you've got two. <laughs> oh, I'll just pull it out of the air. What? <laughs> yeah, how are you doing, guys? You're right. You are a yeah. cheeky chappy, aren't you? <laughs> Calm down. You're annoying me already. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. So I'm actually yeah, I'm working on some new chat up lines. Uh, the first one is, um, would you be interested in receiving my Majesty? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, and um, the other one is, <laughs> and uh, that doesn't really work either. Anyway, hello, my name's James. Uh, James. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Uh, yeah, my name's James. Uh, yeah, I know I look like Kurt Cobain if he was addicted to baked beans instead of heroin. <laughs> but we'll just keep it rolling on. Just uh, a thing before we, uh, we start properly. Um, I have been a bit ill. Uh, lately, I've had a bit of a sore throat. Uh, just so you know, I have taken the maximum amount of strepsils I can take today, <laughs> orally. <laughs> but there is just a cheeky little one. Uh, yeah, so what I'm saying is, if I just start like fizzing everywhere, uh, then uh, that's what that is. <laughs> so, uh, right, okay guys. Row my crew. This is the beginning of my set, and I'll use it to tell you all about myself. My star sign is Virgo. That means I can be irrational. I'm a child of divorce, and that's why I really like to torture animals. Torture animals. I once crucified a badger. Torture animals, torture animals. I sleep deprived a shrew. I dehydrated a giraffe. I beached a whale. I made a human centipede out of centipede. Set my ass in a snail. I waterboarded a chimp. I fed a puppy chocolate. I used cosmetic products on a bird of prey. For all of these reasons, that's why I was fired from the RSPC. <laughs> hey, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes, it is, Tresemite. <laughs> I can't buy things, yes, I can. I can't buy things, yes, I can. Up, down, up, down, up, down, percentages. Up, down, up, down, up, down, percentages. It's a song about the stock market. <laughs> are, you a, are you a fun lover? Out of interest? No? You've got a sort of aura of fatherness about you. It's kind, I like it. In a lot of ways, I wish you were my dad. <laughs> because you're here. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, uh, I put on quite a bit of weight this year. I've done the opposite of what my New Year's resolution was. I actually woke up with um, some kebab meat in my belly button the other day. It was <laughs> it's okay, it wasn't mine. Am I right, ladies? <laughs> it's my new catchphrase. <laughs> Am I right, ladies? Ugh. Men, am I right, ladies? <laughs> Why did she leave me? Am I right, ladies? <laughs> no, I've been, yeah, I've been trying to lose a bit of weight lately because, yeah, I've really puffed out, man. I'm really liking those carbohydrates <laughs> a bit too much. Uh, there were two things that told me that I put on a lot of weight. Uh, the first was that my claustrophobia became much, much worse. <laughs> Uh, 
um, not now. And uh, secondly, um, my uh, I was getting out of the shower, and uh, I was naked, and that, as is my way. <laughs> and uh, out of the corner of my eye, uh, saw a bit of side boob in the mirror, and I got an erection. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever gotten a, an erection over your own tits before, Brian, but that's... <laughs> yeah, I've done that already. <laughs> oh, I'm having some real issues here with this guitar strap. There we go. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Stick to my mum. <laughs> Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> yeah, tell me that. Tell me who my real father is! <laughs> So, got some uh, issues with tuning. <laughs> if you wanna be my lover, you gotta get with my friends. Make it last forever. Friendship never ends. Friends. <laughs> All right. Let's bring it down a little bit. It's been quite rock and roll so far, right? It's been quite high energy. It's probably a lot to take in. Too much. It's too much. No, it has been. It's been quite like rock and roll, isn't it, I think, generally. <laughs> it's just good, you know? It's been quite... I play my belly like a drum, bitch! What you gonna do? <laughs> so let's just relax for a moment, OK? Let's bring it down. <laughs> That's called Seagulls in Love. Am I right, ladies? <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up with a cheeky little song. Uh, this, uh, this is uh, who's got a job? <laughs> who's had a job? <laughs> yeah, you get the idea. Uh, yeah, this was uh, this song was a massive hit for me back in 1972 uh, on my album. Is that a lasagna in your pocket, or are you just pleased to see me? <laughs> which is available in all good kebab shops everywhere. This is called Employer of the Month, and you're very welcome. When I go to work, you're always the very first person there. If you're the last one to leave, and you always seem to care about how everyone is feeling, how much work there is to go. You're a boy of the mouth now, but there's one thing you don't know. Everybody thinks you're a banker, a total asshole. Nobody likes you. Your condescending manner makes his job much harder to do. And people talk behind your back and they wish you would just die. But like a cockroach after the apocalypse, somehow you fucking survive. So I'm only going to see this once. Fuck you in blood. What's that smell? Hilarity. Your work is always accurate and you take on quite a lot. You're punctual and factual, my mistakes you always spot. You're ever so ambitious and you care about your career. Well, employee of a month, I think there's one thing you should hear. Everybody thinks you're a villain, total bastard. Everybody hates your guts. You're sick of fantastic, far too pedantic. You may be different, that's too much. So get over yourself, your feelings on a shelf. Move on to pastures new. Because with all this hiding behind me too late, I'm going to crucify you because I spent hours and hours on unpaid overtime. I cleaned the office toilets until they shimmered and shined. 
I came to work in hot pants and I did a sexy dance. I said there's more where I came from if you'll just give me a chance. I put 300 quid in an envelope and I gave it to my boss. And when he said he didn't accept bribes, I said, what about if I like totally suck you off? I stood outside his house at midnight. <laughs> Begging, <laughs> screaming his name, <laughs> scaring his kids, drunk on Crown de Month. Now, I really like Crown de Month. Um, uh, hear me out. Uh, I've written some of my best poetry on it, and uh, but nobody really seems to want to pu publish it. <laughs> and I don't know. Even though I did all these things, you're still the employee of the month. Employee of the Ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's I've been James McDonald. Um, I'm not on Twitter or Facebook, but I am on Tinder. So, uh, <laughs> just saying. Oh. I, I always pull out. Oh no, cheap. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, guys. How about you? Got a lovely night ahead of you. Have a good summer. Good night. James McDonough! Okay, we've got an interval now, so go do your drinks, all that sort of stuff. Let's hear it once more for all the acts you saw in that section. See you about 10 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've got empty bottle shots, glasses or plates on your table, move them to the end of the table 